Hello and welcome to antidarren.com. How's your week been? In this video, I'm covering requests from my viewers, from you wonderful darlings that you that you sent to me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and in the in the YouTube comments. Good afternoon, how are you? Welcome to antidarren.com. If it is your first time here, please, please leave a, leave a subscribe down the bottom. Turn the little bell notification on. This is going to be the perfect channel for you if you are wanting to feed your family for less. If you are wanting to get the maximum, maximum, maximum out of your shopping. Not spend a lot of money and yeah, just really. If you want Instagram worthy food, if you want posh nosh this isn't me i'm just a lad who cooks for his mum in a little kitchen in the middle of eccles as you can see from my kitchen there's no frills there's nothing here a few little bits of equipment that i have like food processor i tend to stay clear of really really specialist equipment but food processors for me they're okay as I said previously, this is all about your questions and what are we going to do today. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do something with uh, minced beef to feed your family with a nice little scone crust top. This scone crust top, top is my standard scone dough. And yes, it is scone, not scone. It's only a scone when you've eaten it all. But I'll be telling you that later on anyway. Uh, the minced beef and tatties that I'm doing or the meat potato pie or the hash or the whatever you want to call it that's down from Agnes um, Agnes believe it or not from Glasgow <laughs> thank you very much for joining me well because you because you're from Glasgow I thought oh, a good way to feed a family with minced beef is to do minced beef and tatties and stick a lovely scone crust on it and it's gonna be absolutely amazing What's coming up for this week? Well, for this week, tomorrow, I'm going to do a very, very, very special live um, broadcast round about six, half past six in the evening. Um, and it's all going to be about you. So I'm there to answer any questions. If you need to know things, uh, please come online between, so between six, well, between six and seven tomorrow. I'll answer your questions and it's going to be uh, another request from a customer a sandwich toaster masterclass and I'll be doing that live yeah different things you can use a sandwich toaster for that you wouldn't believe and different types of sandwich toasters as well because not all of them are exactly the same um, also coming in the next two weeks yes I'm planning ahead this is very very unlike me I will be doing an out and about in the supermarket starting off with the my supermarket of choice which will be Sainsbury's so we'll be going out and about in Sainsbury's we'll be looking at some of the bargains you can, you can pick up we'll be having a look at some of the things they've got for ready for Christmas yeah they've got the Christmas stuff out already as you will know I work for Sainsbury's so this is why I've chosen this one to do first of all um, because I'm not used to going out and about and it's somewhere that's quite comfortable for me. But if you, when you see this video, if this is the sort of thing you'd like to see, let me know. I'm also going to be giving you some, a few hints and tips to know when something's on offer and when something is about to be discontinued and stuff like that. So you know how to get it and how to save maximum amount of money. Let's get into the video and we're going to start now with the minced beef tatties with the cheese scone crust. When I say a cheese scone crust, I am not going to cut them out into scones. I'm going to cut it out into a circle and put it on top. But you'll see what it's like. To begin, we need to take an onion. I'm actually using two medium onions instead of one large. Because I haven't got a large onion. Right, the idea of this is that it's quick to get in the oven. And you don't really need to mess about with it. Even the scones, the scones, which I know some of you are going to turn around and say, um, oh, God, I can't make scones, I can't bake. Well, I'm going against my ethos here, and I am using a little, a little bit of specialist equipment. I will be using for this um, a food processor, but don't worry. You can pick one up for a couple of quid, and if not, you can rub it in by hand. But I'm trying to make this a speedy meal 
for you to for you to do. So all you need to do is we're just gonna quickly rough chop the onions. No ceremony about them. You'll notice I'm not making sure that they're perfectly squared. I want a really quick rough chop on these because they form half the veg. So, did you all have a good bonfire night? Did anybody go to uh, a firework display? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you did. So here we have um, 250 grams, the smallest pack of minced beef you can buy. I got it from a local supermarket. If you go into your, if you go into your butchers, you can actually get it from them. I'm going to throw this into a dry pan. So at this stage, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a grinding of white pepper. Now I'm using freshly milled white pepper, but the stuff you can get from the supermarket in powdered form, that's perfectly good enough for this. Remember, we're making tea. We're not messing about with food. This is all about making tea and making and feeding your family. So... Um, this should feed quite easily four people, six people, eight people. Just increase the amount of potatoes and the amount of carrots and stuff that you're going to put into it. While that's going, I'm just going to start chopping the rest of the veg up. The same as with the carrots. There's no ceremony on this. I slice them in half down the centre. Slice them in half again and chop down. Now I have listened to your comments on Anna Major's site which is uh, money off coupons and freebies which I will link in the description down below so you can all go and have a look and join in on the, or join in with the fun and perhaps pick up some bargains at the same time that you don't necessarily like when I do 100% heads down videos and um, speed them up. So I'm actually going to cook this for you as in real time as I can without the un without it going on for about without the thing going on for about four hours. Okay, that's come out that that's come out nicely and all the fat has drained. I just want to show you that now very very quickly you can see the fat's drained and browned and it's starting to brown it's at this stage I'm going to add a touch of oil now the oil's gone in I'm going to add onions and carrots Because I've added the onions and carrots, I'm going to add another pinch of salt, grinding of pepper. It's at this stage, if you want to, you can add thyme, you can add um, oregano, you can add tomatoes, you can add whatever you want. I'm not going to do that because I'm keeping it really, really simple and to, uh, you know, to the, simple and to the point. Next thing's next, we need to get some potatoes in there. Yep, it's all going to be done in one, one pot. So think meat potato pie or meat potato hash, which I've done as well, but with a, with a different sort of topping on it. Now these chip, these potatoes, as you're cutting them down, we need to, still in a rough chop, little bit like that. Once 
you have introduced the potatoes. Grab a beef stock cube because you're using beef. You're going to use a beef stock cube. Crumble that in at this stage. And then water from a recently boiled kettle is just going to go has come up to a simmer, lid on, light off, into an oven that's been preheated to 240 degrees C. As soon as you close the oven door, turn it down, excuse me, turn it down to 200 and leave it there. A couple of hours really doesn't matter. Okay, the next question is how to make a savoury scone. Now, savoury scones are really, really good. And yes, I am going to cause an argument now. It's scone, not scone. Actually, both ways will go for, for it. But the way to remember it, because I'm a northerner, it's definitely scone. A scone is only a scone when you've eaten it. Simple as that. And it makes perfect sense. And you just look at how you spell gone and gone. You don't say, I'm... You don't you say I've gone, not I'm gone. Think about it. Bone and bomb. Well I've got a bone in my arm, not a bomb. Anyway, that's enough about that. So savory scones are really, really simple. This they're simple if you haven't got a food processor, but if you have got a food processor, they're even easier. And all you need is 250 grams of self-raising flour. There's a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chilli powder. If you have no chilli powder, use a little bit of cayenne. I haven't got any cayenne, so I'm using a touch of uh, mild chilli powder. And a teaspoon of baking, of baking powder. I almost made a mistake then. That was almost baking soda. No, a teaspoon of baking powder. Do not use baking soda. All those into the food processor. 55 grams, <coughs> excuse me, 55 grams of butter. It's not a lot of butter in a scone recipe. A lot of people um, try to put, you know, too much in there and makes it more cakey now for a less cakey scone you know the ones that i mean generally some of them that you pick up from the supermarket then they put eggs in the ingredient well this hasn't got any eggs in it we're just gonna crack the lid on and pulse now don't worry if you don't have a food processor you can rub this in with the tips of your fingers you will be if you are looking to pick up a food processor now's the time to do it don't stick it on your christmas card list because somebody will buy it you for christmas and let's be honest for christmas you shouldn't be buying anything with a plug if you want a row in your house you buy your other half a food processor you buy them an iron you buy them a hoover you shouldn't be buying them christmas presents that um let's see help them do, help them run the house because we don't have people running houses anymore. It's not all down to him and her. It's down to all of us mucking in together. But that's enough wisdom from Auntie Darren. Buy chocolates. Buy flowers. Well, not flowers. Don't buy sexy underwear. Because she's got to wear it in front of the kids. Or anything like that. L look at what your other half or your partner wants for Christmas. And that's where Anna Major site comes on, because it's a bargain site, links down below. So yeah, Anna, I hope you appreciate I'm plugging you throughout this video, because I think you're wonderful. Anyway. Because he's got a big mouth. Well, you've got a big mouth, can't deny it. Yeah. You're going in here now. Right. She's gone now. Do you wear that? It doesn't matter. Do you wear it? Do you hear how I get treated in this house? It's it's not right. Honestly, it's horrible. Anyway, pulse it. 
Now, once you've pulsed it, we're going to add into that oh, 100 grams of cheese. Cheddar cheese, whichever cheddar you like. This is a little bit of a this is a little bit of a barber mature cheddar from work. Yeah, it was a yellow label. We got it on Monday for cheese and biscuits and stuff. Yeah, I know we just had a quick cheese biscuits, pate, ham, loads of bread, and all that on Monday for tea. It was it was lovely. It really was beautiful, beautiful pork pie. Anyway, onto a low, low, low thing like so. here once it comes together it's done a couple of seconds it was about 30 30 seconds of blending Could pop that back in fridge and that was about a hundred mil of um, cold milk that's all you need now that is a lovely sticky dough but it needs to rest so it needs to go into the fridge for at least an hour the next thing i want to do is this is the um scone cheese scone mixture um which has been in the fridge now for about an hour roughly about an hour but it really, really, really doesn't matter. And it's quite a forgiving pastry. So what we're gonna do with it, because it's going as a co as sort of a cobbler top, just wanna roll this out. So that's that scone dough, completely rolled out and flat. Just gonna move it over to the side. I'm gonna go into the oven and I'm gonna get the minced beef and tatties out. Give it a quick taste. Perfect. And then that cheesy crust, I'm just going to pop it. On top, like so. A touch of that barber mature cheddar on the top of it. No need for egg wash or anything like that. And the last thing I want to add is some cracked black, oh sorry, some cracked white pepper just to finish it off. That goes back into the oven 35 to 45 minutes to finish off cooking. That's crust has had another uh, 45 minutes in the oven. It should be absolutely perfect. Let's go and give it a look. So that's the first of the dishes done. Come back to me tomorrow for the live event about 6.30 um, and yeah, enjoy.